locking polymerase onto DNA, clamps, clamp loaders, and ATP. Life is based on molecular machines driven by coupling to thermodynamically favorable reactions. Think about how DNA interacts with proteins. There are binding and unbinding reactions between various proteins and various DNA sequences. Unbinding reactions are driven by thermal motion. In the case of DNA replication, it would not be good if the polymerase floated away before it was finished replicating the DNA. How might one solve this problem? Any suggestions? In the case of DNA polymerase binding to DNA, the solution involves two proteins. The first is the DNA polymerase clamp loader, and the second is the clamp protein. The clamp loader is a pentamer composed of three gamma polypeptides, a delta and a delta prime polypeptide. It binds ATP and catalyzes its hydrolysis to form ADP and phosphate, a highly thermodynamically favorable reaction. The clamp protein is a hexamer of subunit polypeptides. It forms a closed donut. The hole in this donut is large enough for a DNA molecule. A clamp molecule on a DNA molecule can slide freely along the DNA. When the clamp loader binds ATP, it can bind the clamp protein. And this interaction leads to the opening of the clamp. The clamp loader and the open clamp can then interact with unraveled DNA associated with origins of replication. This interaction leads to the hydrolysis of the ATP bound to the clamp loader and the closing of the clamp around the DNA. The clamp loader is released and the DNA clamp complex can interact with DNA polymerase and slide along the DNA. To remove the clamp, we reverse the process. Here are the step-by-step -step reactions involved in putting a clamp onto DNA. So here are some questions. Why is the interaction with DNA important in this reaction? Why doesn't the clamp get loaded onto DNA randomly? And can you propose a plausible evolutionary scenario that would get you to the clamp?